Okay, hopefully this video will help people using SDR Sharp and the frequency scanner plugin with locking out frequencies or parts of the spectrum they don't want to the scanner to stop on. Okay, if you're using frequency scanner to scan a large part of the spectrum, it may help for you to use a scroll wheel. Go up and down on the scroll wheel. Will leave a, it will help zoom in make things a little bit more easy to see now say for example i want to lock out 129425 where it's shown here that the scanner has stopped on i can either click the padlock to lock it or unlock it as you can see a program frequency which is shown in green will turn yellow an unprogrammed frequency for example here 129325, if I click on the bottom here, it will go red. To clear them, just click on the bottom, or I can just click the padlock. Now, if I want to do a temporary lockout, I go to the padlock, I right click, and now if I click on this one here, or the padlock here, it will go orange, and that's a temporary lockout. And I can clear like that. Now, if I want to lock this one out, click on that, it will go purple. And I want to clear it, just click again and it will clear. If I want to, to clear the temporary lockout feature, just right click again on the padlocks. Now, if I want to lock out a part of the spectrum to be scanned, not to be scanned, should I say. I just right left click on the part of spectrum, drag a box to my desired range, and then left click the box, and you'll see them go red and yellow. So this part here from there to there is now not being scanned. If I want to clear that, just drag another box, and left uh, right click sorry and that should be it any more questions i'm happy to answer